straight back another week. Uh, I think I committed on Friday that I would be doing cutscenes starting today. Um, yeah. All right. I just haven't thought about how I want to implement it yet. So I'm just going to kind of make it up as I go, I guess. I kind of remember how it originally was. Let's see here. I wonder if I did anything with that level intro. Okay, a message box would come, a message box would come. So I have a ship here that's move object player ship. Okay. At a specific scale. Slow down to stop. Uh, low flame sound. Low flame. Another message box. Message box, message box, message box. Okay, so the ship was flying from right to left at the start. And then what happened? I created these events. Big flame, big sound, normal flame, normal sound. Removing the ship. Okay. And then I did these animations. Well, that's nothing that interesting. I can recreate that. Won't necessarily be a cutscene, it would just be a one off script. I don't know if that's that interesting. Well, maybe not. I could just create an event. Um, hmm. All this did was play all these things in order. And then I just kind of like timed it to say, after some testing to realize that this takes some amount of time, and I just called this end level after that amount of time. And this is just a sequence of events. Okay, so don't really have a sequence system for that. Let me think. Uh, call back. What is this move to? And it would run all the actions on this object. Hmm. I guess that's possible. Does it start off in the view or not? So I have a copy of the cutscene on the Kickstarter page. In the Kickstarter video from years ago. I see if I can No, that doesn't work. Here we go. 
that kind of works. So it starts off in this spot. Did that scene just fade in or did that? I think that was the video edit that faded. I don't think it actually did a fade in, but I can do that. <clears throat> have objects and just move them uh, and scale them. So also the, the, um, backgrounds are running in reverse, which means they do reverse parallax. Okay. So there's a lot of little things to do here. How about first I just do the flame? I think I'm gonna do the flame first cause I'm gonna need it. Let me just put, an, put a pin in this for now and just get that uh, flame working. So where's that uh, ship flame? Just gonna expedite that to the top of the list. Getting a call. Yo, man, what's up? Hey. Oh, wait, it's Monday. Hi, uh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can only do that other way on Friday. <laughs> Dude. You when the full know. moon is betwixt the trees. <sighs> How's your day gone? I don't... I, I Are you left with the twin? <laughs> I, try, I try not to look at the days of the week anymore. It's really difficult not to, but... Really, really try. Uh, dude, you've lost your. What do they call it? There was there was a movie that had to do with time travel, where like you needed to know somebody in that time because they were your connection to that time somehow. That happened in Lost. That might be what I'm thinking of. The constant. The constant. Thank you. That's what <laughs> I was word I was looking for. I was like, why does that? I like what. <laughs> yeah, that was an episode of Lost. I mean, they talked about it like a little bit outside of that episode, but... I, mean, I had to have watched all the episodes multiple times. Yeah. That was the one with that. Not nearly as much as like Futurama, but yeah, I, I definitely watched that whole series a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. You uh, skip over a lot, though. Like, you, you could probably start watching in like season three and <laughs> still be good. Oh, I don't know. I they should do like an abridged. Every time I rewatched it, I never skipped it. I know that. Mm. That's not true. I would sometimes skip episodes that like I knew like I didn't like. They were like maybe <laughs> lame or whatever. The boring ones, the side ones, yeah. like the one about like Boone and like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the fucking other couple that were like thieves and then like one of them died. I can't even remember the whole thing. All right. Well, I'm working on cutscenes today. Dude. Making cutscenes work. You're a cutter. Oh my God. Uh, so I'm gonna work on this uh, engine flame on this ship. How is the cutscene happening? What are you envisioning? I mean, it's going to happen the same way that it happened in the original game. Well, what if it happens to not work? It'll, what do you mean it won't work? Why wouldn't it work? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to say something back to you. Yeah. You jerk! So... So really... This is just the animation and then the scale <coughs> changes. So <coughs> that's all that, that is. Sprites, flames, animation, flame, do small. All right, unstoppable bill. Let's see. Pending approval. Still pending approval. Great. Small. This goes on the ship, enemy, platforms, 
back, enemy layer. Don't really know. Why is the anchor point there? Oh, that's why. Okay. So if I were to play this, it would just. So what does that animation look like? It's big, tiny. Unless it's supposed to go back and forth. Let me just change that really quick. You redirect URIs? What the hell? What's a URI again? It's the entire thing, like along with the uh, query string and everything. I think so, anyway. I, f I forgot. So let's go back to engine flame. Flame, blue, small, three. Why is it two of them? Why is there two of each? Hold on. Ships. Player ship. Ah, I did the flames twice, so I just took these guys. Oh, shit. Um, is this right then? Oh, okay, I'm missing sprite. Okay. Big, medium. So now it shrinks and grows correctly. Uh -huh. Um. Hey, uh, like a turtle, right? I don't know if I just need that same thing. I like turtles. Ships. Flames. Example.com forward slash callback. Why would you? Tweet and ship. And a player ship. Ah, oh, it's not a prefab. Interesting. Okay. What the fuck? Sharing there, yeah. Always asking. Ooh, blue flame, I like it. <laughs> it was always there. No, it wasn't. Of course really? it was. Here's the original video. I mean, it was always there in the original game. But... It wasn't always there since I've been making the new one. Oh, oh, that's probably why I don't. Or at least that's why I'm going to say it. Uh, yeah, i got to speed it up, though. No ignition. I'm going to say... I'm going to speed it up to 60. I probably didn't have to press play to see that. Oh, that's a little Whoa. fast. It's why right. is the ship flashing? Uh, just because the level starts, it's invincible. That's like the invincibility flash, so you get a few frames there at the beginning. Um, okay, let me just go. <coughs> 48. And it's still a little fast. 24. 24. Uh, a little 
also 30. There we go. That's better. Let's try to see this one here. Huh. Oh, it shrank. That's right. It starts off normal speed. And then it shrinks and then it goes normal again. Go a little bit and then it gets like huge. And then he flies across the screen. That's all that needs to happen. Oh, it's like a weird <laughs> sprite line here. Spread down, spread down. This one's set. It's going to have to be public. Okay. Set manually. There's shit. Friendly set up sprite, set down sprite. I'll need those sound effects. Where are those sound effects? Um, normal sound, big sound. Ship engine high, ship engine normal. Where are all those sections?
player one. Let's see, uh, where did I put that? Sounds, effects. Got that ship engine, normal, punch pilot. Okay. Let's see if I put that. Oh, I do have ship engine and I do have player punch pilot. Oh, okay. Engine normal. High two. Okay, punch pilot. I don't need these sounds now. Have them all. Which one is this? It's the little one. That's the repeating one. So another thing I could add here. Has an audio source. I don't think I use it for anything. How do you spell on the stuff? <clears throat> ah. Yeah, it is two keys. Why is it two keys? like stopper um yeah i know i just don't know why because i always with the two letters you know what i mean like bug bugger i thought it was always like the three letter thing so if it's like a three letter word you double the last letter oh but then also situations like swatter i believe is two t's mm -hmm. footer Butter. Yeah. But well, butter, it's just, butter, it's not <laughs> it's just butter. A word. It's not like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm, look at that cube of butt. <laughs> Pronounced butter. Maze is kind of fun. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you about that. There's a lot of people. Is it during the day? Uh, no, we got there. At, they don't start till like 7 p.m. It was cold as shit though. Hmm. It was up. It was up. I'll click, you know, an hour or two from Canada. So, oh, okay. Wow. Um, so it was pretty damn cold. It got even colder. I felt bad for all the workers there. Um, but it was fun. Like, it's just like this guided tour through, like, a, the corn maze. And, you know, these people are, like, walking through, the, it, walking through like, the behind-the-scenes spots. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's all, like, super dark. And, like, there's, like... It's a weird. It's in the in the corn maze. It's dark, right? Because they're good at blocking light. But whenever you see over the corn maze or anything, the, you see the lights that are really strong in the distance. So your eyes never get adjust adjusted to the darkness. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but 
I saw this was a byproduct of it. And, uh, and people would just seem invisible to you, even though they were right in front of you. So, I mean, I wasn't scared or anything, but uh, it was kind of fun. They we get to shoot paintballs at a, a clown. <laughs> You're gonna die, clown! Yeah, no. At all. Non-null assertions can only be used in TypeScript files. Who are you? Oh, it's as simple as renaming it to .ts. Errors gone. Oh shit! But now the import looks differently. Message box trigger. I guess that's fine. Could make a bunch of different types of triggers. Wouldn't take too long. Be more scripts, but whatever. No big deal. Um, hmm. Interesting. A hood? Yeah, there was. All right, so gonna have to create an intro scene. How about a quick scene trigger? Or let's rename this. Um, and trigger message box. Trigger message box. The associated script cannot be loaded. Please. Event trigger message box. Event trigger message box. There we go. Everything's still there. Event trigger. 
trigger. Load scene. If I can drag a scene into it somewhere, public scene using the engineer scene manage scene. Thing. Um, I guess I could do something like uh, let's finally put a folder here. Forgot how to do that exactly, but I'll do this. It'll do this. It won't do this necessarily. I'll call some other thing that's like protect. Right, that's what protected does. Oh, God. Um, do I have to specify like, ah, I don't remember. Void uh, do trigger. Doesn't do anything. So this thing will just go with event trigger instead. Won't use update, won't use start. Maybe. Um I think or I don't know what kind of protected. Modifier override is not valid. For this item method must have a return type. Right, okay. That's true. Uh, must have virtual, been. that's what it was. Don't give a shit about protected. Maybe not. Uh, public. Public virtual. That's keyboard words. Okay. So this is all um, that is. I need to have another meeting real quick. Be right back. All right. Public override. Do trigger. Ah, uh, because this is an event trigger. This will just be trigger. Cool. And this will scene manager dot load scene scene name. Okay. Simple enough. I think.
So as a simple test, I could theoretically just keep reloading the same scene. Um, let me disable the boss. Load scene test. The name of the scene is probably something dumb like sample scene. Yep. Sample scene. And then I will put this thing here. Oh, and the other thing about all of these things. Right, um, is that it will apply a ship movement script and set move velocity to one, entrance set to right, movements and targets. Okay. Event trigger on awake. We'll say add component uh, ship movement. Movement. Uh, oh. What's happening here? Movement. Uh, move velocity. Dot x one. Uh, what was the other stuff? Uh, movement. Uh, entrance type equals right. Movements hmm, equals ship movement dot movement dot move type dot right to left. Um, Target times um, float array and value zero. And that's it for any one of those things. I guess first I'll check if it has one. So with that you should be able to create this guy that just flies into the scene and reloads the scene. Is it happening? I don't think it worked. Scene, scene name could not. It's <laughs> great. All right, cool. So I can never really get anywhere because the scene just keeps getting reloaded. Cool, that's one test, down. Um, now I have to make it so that the, um, man, that's pretty unproductive so far, but I gotta make it so that the parallaxing can go the opposite direction, if need be. 
I can slow it down to a stop, but if I'm going in reverse, um, the positioning isn't correct because it relies on positioning being way over here to swap them versus way over here to swap them back. So where's parallax background? Um, let's go ahead and say direction. Um, moving right, left, moving right. So it has to instantiate the copy, unless I create two copies, one on each side. Once there's a copy, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they are. If I create the copy and I put them in this position, and then I start going to the left, well, immediately, right, if it equals negative 19.2, it moves. So what would happen is, this copy would jump all the way to the left side immediately because it's at the right position. Pretty sure, okay. Um, if moving right, Or should I say, that doesn't really matter. So now if it's less than or equal to, greater than or equal to 19.2, minus, that then it becomes negative 19.2 plus one, plus one movement. And then if not grounded, this just does that. That's it. Maybe that's it. Oh, and moving right. Copy dot moving. Oh, no. Parallax background. Good component.
copy. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, okay. So the movement also. and move back around for the copy. Okay. So the move right thing doesn't really matter. Okay. So if I set background one to be moving right. With getting rid of load scene test. <clears throat> like that? Hmm, maybe. Alright, that allows the backgrounds to go in reverse. Level manager, and it's just fine. Let's see here. Oh, dude, I didn't even see you guys in the chat or anything. Sorry about that. No, you're not. <laughs> just, ah, uh, our boys, David Winsands, the Apache 64. Our boys. Boys are back in town. Ah, uh, totally, totally. Uh -huh. Ignoring the chat window. Yeah, he really likes doing that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll never understand. Ah, I just secretly hate it. <laughs> I don't know. Secrets out! <laughs> As uh, promised, the 
you promise? Would oh, you um, yeah, he wasn't even here earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just more or less talking to myself. But yeah, as promised, I was I was doing the cutscenes part of the game today, and I'm just kind of like setting up some other features to be able to do that. One of them being adding this little flame. Doesn't make sense now, but it will. And the other one having the ability for these uh, parallaxing backgrounds to scroll in the opposite direction. It is against their nature. I stream to hate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's the most passive aggressive streamer that I ever did. If you guys can't handle it, I'm going to stop streaming right now. <laughs> I'll stop streaming right now. <laughs> okay. How does the demo application help me at all? <laughs> so I guess I just got to set up more of these um, event triggers how about this um, event trigger I feel like set scale is not really well maybe Oh, see you later, dude. Good night. So this is going to take a, uh, a transform to screw around with. Transform, and then the scale that I want to set it to. Function. Um, call a function on a type of script. Um, let's see. Call ship function. I'll do ship functions for now and see how that works. Uh, there's a way to do this. Got exactly. Is it like an action? Event? Action? No. Um, let's see. Uh, Unity call or hmm. No, not custom inspectors. 
two parameter. There we go. That doesn't seem good. I feel like I've done this before, but. Passing another script method as parameter. That's kind of the correct question. Passing script method as parameter. Delegate, I think this might be it. Um, Funk system that action. Um, do you stream, Julio? Do I? I haven't. They want I to haven't. Know. I... People want to know. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what should I stream? Like, uh, <laughs> like finger puppets? Should, should we want some finger puppets? Do some finger puppets, dude. <laughs> you guys want some finger puppets? <laughs> um, I, I um, I've done drawing streams before. Um, I have like the you know the deadhead thing, but I haven't streamed in a bit. I think the last few ones I did was for Learn a Bit, which was that club in Mint Bean. Um, using it as like a test, like a test stream channel. Uh, but I do want to get back into it. I actually was thinking about just rando things too, because it's not always coding. I feel like my method of coding, you can't, I can't really stream it. Um, but like drawing, painting, I, there's this mod, that metal model kit I told you about. I was thinking about just streaming, putting that together. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think so. The stuff that because I it's funny because people do like time lapse videos of putting puzzles and stuff together too, and apparently has a big following. Hmm. So it's like it takes them like twenty hours to put this giant puzzle together, and they put it into like a five minute time lapse video because that's the only way people can digest it. I wonder if there's an ASMR for tedious stuff. Most of the ASMR stuff I've seen has kind of been out of 
like the norm for that noise to exist. Like for example, if someone has ASMR of coding, they rare or like of typing keyboard, rarely are they typing anything meaningful. Hmm. Yeah, if it's just ASMR, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. There's just like, oh, like hair brush, like what, like you're listening to someone brush their entire hair versus like someone just like, you know, <laughs> moving the bristles. I'm not saying that's what I want to hear. I'm just saying like, the difference in the thing. Uh, oh, so like, so so like if you if puzzle making was your ASMR, would you rather hear the sounds of someone quietly putting a puzzle together? Or just the sounds of puzzle pieces hitting around, like somebody just grabbing the pieces and like moving, you know? Right. Oh, that's just a class abstract word. Dumb. I don't think that even answered anyone's questions. Right? <laughs> this is whether or not you would stream. What would you stream? That was your answer to do you stream? Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yep. be on the lookout who knows for me streaming so i can ask what i should stream change color background function what if someone goes super meta and wow. they stream themselves watching you <laughs> you could stream yourself watching me yeah no i mean i mean like so like you look at the stream and the stream is like of somebody like eating popcorn just staring into the camera like they're watching you as the video like you're their oh, right. video <laughs> and they're like they'll do like reactions every now and then like oh my god i can't believe that happened oh shit. but someone would be having to watch both to actually know no but the person's not watching anything he's, oh. just, he's, he's watching the metaphorical viewer of the person who's had to be The audience, if you will, staring at the fourth wall. Oh, okay, got it. Watching you. Yup. Like Mrs. Puff. Um, so this might be dumber than I thought. All right, so I'm just gonna have to do. I mean, it's pretty easy. If I just, you know what, public, you know. Shift function. I'm just gonna do it that way. Uh, public shift function function function. Oh great! Now it's function done. You son of a bitch. Or I just name it none, I guess. Tell friends none. Fun stuff will do me. Um, flame small, flame medium, flame normal. Um, you know what I would like to add Large. to Atlantis? And that's pretty much it. Do tell. I'll tell. Oh, I will tell. Um, learn to earn mechanics like Coinbase. Oh, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I think it would be a great introductory to the world. But now how as to have that capital to yeah. be able to give and cover those gas fees, I have no idea. But I am I can kind of bet on some kind of partnership allowing for that to be more feasible. Kind of a dumb way of doing this. Um, what is this trying to tell me? Empty switch block. Um, so, 
case function flame small shift dot flame small. <coughs> I guess a trigger to slow down and speed up the background. So first, event trigger set background speed. with level manager. Level manager. So background speed. Speed up to normal first. Um, that, but my target is negative. Oh, and my acceleration would be negative as well. Slow down to stop. If my acceleration is negative, it keeps getting faster in the wrong direction. Slow down to stop. Reverse, I guess. same thing. Oh wait, if I'm at zero, I don't know which direction to uh, how about speed up to. I don't have to 
to speed up at all. I don't need this yet. I don't need this at all. Alright, cool. So I don't need the second. <laughs> uh, sorry. What? What? I don't need the second script for that. Okay, so I just need to slow down, and then I need to maybe move. All right, so trigger set scale. How about set event trigger move. Yeah, okay, so then do trigger, oh, so this is gonna have to work. Inspector inherit if I subclass a model behavior, will I see it in the inspector? Hmm. Until done. False. And what I can do here is if not update until done. Oops, update until done. Then just do this. Else public pool update. Uh, and report done. Uh, and it's going to always return true if update and report done. Then destroy. There. So all I have to do here is instead of do trigger, whoops. have its own start um, well wait keep what what this have does this stuff have to be protected now is that what it is protected. Do serialize. Remember when you were asking me about the serialized field thing? I think I might have to do this now. Keep a lot. Oh, I have to do like super then.
super base. Keep a look. Can't access it. Okay. So then I do maybe have to do this. No. Have it here. I was just naming it wrong the entire time. Okay. So, public override, update, we're done. Speed has to have some kind of direction, so that's fine. Um, float. They're experiencing the same delta time. They should be. Um, if position. Position. X minus equals plus equals new. get move current position versus the target. Um, so distance equals vector three dot distance of position versus target position. is less than move plus then distance equals I mean position equals target position and make sure that I reach that position else keep going toward that position See if I can do something here. Sample scene, let's go uh, scene, scene, scene. Intro scene. I'm gonna need these backgrounds and the player ship. And my level manager, where are you? There, I need you. Okay. Save. Whoa, I need the camera too. This camera's not correct. Simple scene. Um, save. Copy this camera. Paste it here. Get rid of this damn camera.
Okay, this is now the intro. I could take my player ship. Let's remove some stuff. I don't need the cockpit or the guns. I don't need the box collider. Can't remove that because it depends on something else or whatever. Destructible, doesn't need that. Doesn't need shooter. Doesn't need rigid body. Doesn't need box collider. Okay. So what I immediately want to happen, let's say set ship skip. Let's do like events. Okay. Set ship scale. Ship scale. Do that. Uh, yeah, event trigger set scale. I'm gonna do maybe one, one. Probably default that to like one, one, one. All right, so immediately the ship should flip scale. Oh, wait, I gotta link it. Great. All right. Let's go ahead and move it to here. Where was it in the video? This is the original intro. All right, somewhere there. And it was slightly bigger, 1.5 maybe. have to be too perfect just like about halfway there 1.5 yeah it's about right the flame scale up to should have Yeah. All right, so the backgrounds aren't moving at all. Um, move background. They need the player. They're looking for the player. Unless I can just make them not rely on the player. Let's see. Um, background, player position. If not grounded, what the hell is grounded? Oh, yeah. So if level manager player. Vertical parallax. Okay, now they're moving, but in reverse. Um, let's do another event. <laughs> what? Develop DOM property. Clip dash rule. Did you mean clip rule? Background. I'm God in promise. Error mode close. Speed on the back. Background slow down. So I do need to set the background speed to something reversed. All right, so. Background. Round set speed. Oh, OK. 
Okay, I gotta add it. Add background. Set speed. Local manager, where'd you go? Oh, I don't have to do it actually. Um, so this is just speed, and this is just gonna set the speed. Back BG speed equals. and it's going to do uh, negative one, I want to say. Did not do negative one. Um, what stopped it from doing this? Background speed multiplier set to one. Now it is one. It actually is set to negative one. Oh, is it because I did that thing where I subtract um, where's the background? Mm -hmm. Parallax oh, background. Parallax sound. background. Yeah, I still have to add on the speed because it's negative. And this is negative also, so I can just add that as well. Yeah. There that was the game. There. Like all tabbing through 20 things. Nope. It's still not going negative. Save it. Why is this even here? <laughs> you should not need to use or expect these libraries to remain stable. What is in what use case would you ever use it then? Why is it there? <laughs> For you to use? But, <laughs> like, don't ever, under any circumstances, no matter what, for any reason. Do anything to anyone for any reason, <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. And these are the words I live by, and I always have, I always will. So, in either case, it's going to go, probably going to go down this path. Add this parallax speed, whatever this speed is. Um, multiplied by negative one. So it's going to subtract position. Oh wait, so if it's negative, it's, I see. Um, so it is supposed to do this because negative is the natural direction. What does this speed variable do? Hold on speed. I got the need, the need Speed for methamphetamine. So normally I'm subtracting it. Oh no, BG speed multiplier is less than zero. Yeah, I guess it is supposed to subtract it. Um, uh oh, now I'm lost.
because it will end up being negative, I should add it. Because it'll end up being negative. I should just always subtract it. There we go. That's correct. So I think it's supposed to happen regardless of looping. No. I don't really know. Um, yeah, that was confusing for a second. Can you await any function that returns a promise? Or, I'm sorry, uh, chain it there with a go. dot then? I think so. If it's a... Uh, async to return a promise it would have to be right yes <laughs> I mean I guess you could manually return a promise it's what like create new promise and just <laughs> yeah exactly <sighs> all right so that works now so that's how the game starts except there's supposed to be no background music Who's playing the background music? Uh, BGM. There's no background music. But there should be the faint sound of the ship engine. Yes. You can very faintly hear that. I think you should put something on that makes you faint. Good. I'm going to use the uh, Lavender Town song. <laughs> the creepiest <laughs> song on the planet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there's another one that goes... <laughs> it just starts creeping in. Man, that, that song, it was just so creepy. I think that's where they started their whole ghost girl mythos that they still use today. Ghost girl? Yeah, they have like this ghost, ghost girl kind of recurrent in games. Um, there's even one Easter egg that hasn't been figured out yet in one of the newer Pokemon games. Um, <clears throat> where it's like this ghost shows up if you go into secret spot after a certain event. And like the, even this little animation plays where like this character comes out and looks at you and then they're like, no, you're not the one. And then they leave and like, no one knows what the hell it means. But most of their, and then there's like, in that same game, in the cut, in certain cutscenes, if you pause the cutscene, the ghost girl may or may not be in the background somewhere. It's funny that people try to create this weird spookiness around it when really the game developers just thought it would be funny, probably. Uh, what do you mean? Like they try to make it seem like it's like this, uh, this like weird, scary Easter egg or something. Well, it's a ghost. Sure. I know, but <laughs> it's like a kid's game and the developers were just like, it'd be funny if we put this person here and here and here and here. Yeah, but their intention was totally to scare people. I mean, I, I, I mean, doubt it was like, hey, I, this will make them laugh. <laughs> the things <laughs> that scare little kids. But but that, what I'm saying is that it's, <laughs> I mean, it's not even scary. It's like, it's just, it's scary in, in the lore of the world. Like, who is this ghost girl? Why is she there? Yeah. Like, did she, like, there's, I mean, the main reason people want to find her, at least in the Easter egg community, is to find out more about that story. Like, Red Dead Redemption 2 does that, there's also an Easter egg, kind of, that's unconfirmed, but kind of confirmed, of this, like, 
missing little girl that you hear about and you see like pictures of her missing poster when she was little and then you come across this this lady later on like this prostitute um that's like much older and apparently it's like the grown up her and like it's unconfirmed but it's pretty obvious that it is but Red Dead Redemption 2 does a lot of just weird shit like they have pentagrams um that where you can like, apparently you can like sacrifice bodies and shit at, and like weird stuff will happen uh there's like and yeah, that's that's that. one that that's one that's like out in the open there's another pentagram that glows red that's underneath the, like a house they where you hear like weird noises and just it's just chock full of shit like that where it just fucks with you like you 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 can do things to find a ufo in that damn game you know yeah, I could, I could, I could see all that. Like, that's that's stuff that you, like, you have this big open world and a development team oh, of a hundred people. Like, somebody's gonna do something like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, shoot, I would encourage that. Yeah, people, I'm sure they did. Look at all the, look at all the hype coming to their game because of this shit. But they did that since Grand Theft Auto. I, I don't know how many Grand Theft Auto, um, Easter eggs. They had though, like the early Grand Theft Auto, like one and two. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know if they were doing that much back then. Um, let's see. So this is Target One. I'm just gonna put that guy at the same Y position as the ship. Three point four. A few in GTA 4 and 5. Huh. Speed. Negative 2. Let's see if he starts moving there. Nope. What the hell's moving? Oh, am I moving the thing? Oh, yeah. Event. Trans Transform. Not as crazy as what he's telling. <laughs> yeah, what's it? What the? the script or something for some reason. Face the thing that should not be. Why is this thing moving? Oh, it also has no target. That's weird. I should probably do that, huh? There he goes. Why is this still moving? Wait, what am I selecting? Move to takeoff spot. Right, yeah. Why are you moving? At the exact same speed as the ship. Why didn't it stop? <laughs> x plus equals move speed distance is less than the amount that i can move set myself to the target oh 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 oh, oh. then the absolute value of how much i can move 
So I can move negative. So I should move to, where's the target? This target. Nope. What is happening here? What is this, game camera? Oh, this game camera is breaking for some reason. It's greater than orthographic size. Not really sure about this yet. Um, instance that is That's right, because it's another thing. What is this? The HUD update. Player.current ship does not equal null, destructible, whatever. The health bar set the thing to be that for some reason. <sighs> Same thing. All right, that fixes those errors. Still not going to stop. HUD, get rid of game camera. So he's moving some amount, getting distant to the target distance to the target unless they're on like completely different Z positions ah yeah that's there we go that's what's happening yeah because it was calculating the uh, three-dimensional distance and the Z was like way off so let's see if that stops it now yes okay stopped all right oh I'm getting the tearing of the parallax is that happening anywhere else? No, just on that one? Mm. That's kind of ugly. It's not too noticeable though. Okay, so let's see how I'm gonna set this up. Oh, but once I trigger that's why it's actually moving. I know why it's moving now. But once I'm there, I can safely um, get component ship movement dot enable. Whoops. Dot enable. doing get component all the time. Shift movement, movement. Movement equals that. Um, this is good enough. That, and what else can I do here? Um, Yeah, I think that's it for that. So let's do some message boxes. Let's go back and get the actual script from the game. <laughs> Come in all rescue, under attack, heavy fire, sector 12. Holy shit, dude, where's sector 12? I don't know. So I'm just going to move this guy over here. This happens way later. So let's see here. Uh, create empty. This is going to be uh, 
message box one SOS. It's gonna be over here. It's gonna be the first thing that happens. Got trigger message box static. That's the message. All right. There it is. Oh shit! <laughs> it doesn't do multi-line. Oh, I have to manually do multi-line. I think. Um, I forgot how I did that. I'll rescue under attack. I could just do it after every exclamation point. Can I do it in here? Um, will it render the new line characters? I feel like it will render the new line characters. Ah, son of a... <laughs> um, how did I do this last time? I thought I was able to do this. What did I do in the other scene? Um, sample scene. Message box. I think I just kept them really short. Yeah, they're really short. So I didn't actually deal with it. All right. So instance message box, basic message. Queue up message. So text. All right, so I'm gonna go into, where is that in the message? Mbox text. So test, test. So that seems to work. I just can't see it right now. I forgot why. It's like not visible or something. I don't really remember. Oh, this is also the um, other scene. Um, hmm, interesting. Um, there's a way to do it. It's not new lines. Does it do rich text? Wait, what? Rich text. Okay, so can I do like line breaks then? It's gonna be weird. Uh, other scene. Intro scene. Er. I don't think that'll work either. That does work in some, in like the actual UI text. But I guess since this text is just a text mesh, let's see, anchor upper left, line spacing, tab size, font size. Hmm. Let's go to Google. Unity text mesh view line. Uh, 
backslash n. No, that's text mesh pro also. String dot replace double backslash n with backslash n. So it escapes the escape, the backslashes manually. So then I have to replace this. I can do that. Where was that? Where was that? Message box, Q message. Replace. Doesn't make sense that it would though. Oh, it does, it does totally work. All right. Just take out the space. Take out the space. Oh, <laughs> the face stopped animating. Ah. because there was no more messages. Um, let's see. State equals state dot close, face bright, face bright zero. Face index. Right. Um, let's see, animate face, how about that? Animate face. And then I will animate face. State is text, else if state is text. Oh, I guess I could change the state halfway. Um, text to play dot length equals equals. Once I reach the end, set the face sprite to closed. Close, close timer. specifically for static for now. Um, or I can say if close, if face, no, face type, face type, type. Face type. Where do I set face type? <coughs> face sprite. Message object. So message q m dot message object dot text message q in q launch face sprite dot sprite face sprites. Oh, face type current message dot face okay current message dot face is static then continue animated face whoops animated face kind of did 
most of this intro and all the cutscene. SOS. Oh, also on the open part. Yeah, also on opening. Same thing. If I'm static, just always animate the face. supposed to be a long series of messages back and forth. Here's the original script. Here it comes. If you want to make any changes to the script, now's the time. So that's SOS. One. Oh, that's not supposed to be inside of that. SOS. SOS one. What did they say back? Um, Oh, that's where he slows down. Uh, get here fast. Uh, they couldn't finish the sentence. Uh, no bandit, it's just bullets. Get here fast. Okay, that's that. It's in the same place. That's weird, I queued up the wrong one first. Got it. A little bit off. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And then dot, dot, dot. There's the third message. draw some stuff onto the thing to show that they're there. Um, there. Let's grab these and pull these way apart. This is supposed to happen way, okay. So box one and two. So this whole conversation can be, actually be really close together. One, two. That and it's gonna be hero. What's he gonna say? I'm in route. Do you need medical? <laughs> I'm on route. Is on route like E N? Not O N. <laughs> Right. Okay. Cool. And then finally this one. These are all pilot. And then that's SOS, that's hero, just slightly after. Let me just manually do this like 13 or let's do 14. Here is 15, 16. And this will happen way later. 
that's looking pretty good. Let's see here. That event's still gonna come too soon. Oh, do I have control over this? No, okay. Because all the controls are in the player class. Okay, so at this point, he's supposed to slow it down. Let's kind of guess how long this takes to play out. SOS, when does it happen? After two seconds after that pops up. It's one, there's a two. Okay. So this is going to be slow down to stop. up and also ship uh, flames. Now, both of these are so this one tells the background to slow down. This one says uh, ship function. I guess I need to make the ship public. It's going to be the player ship. It's going to call flame small. And these guys happen at the exact same time. Somewhere here. Maybe. Let's time this. There's one, there's two. This is gonna kinda sync up. Oh. Okay, a um, little bit sooner. And about there. And then this again even later this is kind of a dumb system honestly because i have to like if i want a really long cutscene, i have to like zoom out and drag all these things over here <clears throat> might be better because you're just scripting the events right yeah but i'm using game objects and i'm having them fly into the scene they're just empty game objects and every time they reach the boundaries of the scene, they trigger the event that they're supposed to trigger. So I position them further and further and further away from the scene to correspond with the timing of when they should trigger. Oh, and, and those are and those are just event triggers for the cutscene. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gotcha. It's kind of dumb. I mean, it works, but it's I like, mean, if yeah. I have like a really long scene, I have to zoom out really, really far to like grab some event trigger and like move it a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not dynamic at all. Which you're known for making like editors and shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could do with some very light editor scripting to make this work. I think actually light. I don't know. This is gonna. This would require like a graph, like a timeline uh -huh. of a thing, and or it could just be like a list view, and then each item in the list could correspond to like one second worth of time. Maybe. Well, does everything always have the same rate? Is that is that game object going at that same rate will always show up at a certain amount of time while playing the game? If yeah. that's the case, then you could just then you don't have to base it off any location. You literally just base it off time. Yeah, I could do that too. I could just write into the game object, like into the inspector, so that you have to type it in the inspector, like what time it happens. Uh huh. That would be more granular, and probably make sense. But I also wanted it to be able to happen in a way where you could be flying through the level and 
like, at a certain point in between, like, this enemy ship showing up and this other enemy ship showing up, I know that a message box is supposed to pop up. Right, so it triggers that mm -hmm. as well. So I can have that acting just like an entity, like, flying through the world. Alrighty, dude. Uh, I don't know if I'll finish up before you get off. We'll see. That sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> Same time? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I usually don't stream longer than two hours. Uh, but I'm really close to finishing, so... <laughs> uh... Tried really hard not to say that one. Alright, so what's missing here? Um, let's go back to the original script. Alright, so the flame engine gets small, and then after, damn it, Twenty-eight, twenty-eight seconds. It does everything in a sequence. Move somewhere. Do a thing. 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 Hmm. I wonder if I can just do an event queue, and then I don't have to worry about timing. I wanted to do all this stuff in a queue. Maybe I'll save that for tomorrow. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a fun thing to do. And since David Winsands took off anyway, I got nobody to talk to except for you, Julio. Um, so, um, yeah. So tomorrow's mission is to do something like this. A sequence of events that will just all trigger together somehow uh, should be pretty easy so that they're so that I know like I don't worry about timing I just know when the first part of the sequence starts and then the rest of it just plays out without worrying about right. timing of everything right and I could do that with message boxes too so that I don't have to write in all these different message box items I just write in all the right. things Actually, then I can do the entire thing in one, I think just one set of events. And then I have the flexibility of doing them in a set of events or placed in the level and it'll both work just fine. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. So I got everything almost working. So where's my player? There's So did the ship flame thing, that's whatever. Oh, I don't have the other thing. Uh, ship flame shrinks and grows when flying back and forth. Okay. Cutscene, series of scripted events. Okay, so cutscene. I really don't have to cut some. So event trigger Q. Uh, it's running on steps. Can define list of events. This is here. Um, maybe custom inspector. That would be easy, probably. Easy peasy lemon squeezy yellow polka dot for squeezy. <laughs> I was hoping for some magic out of that one, but now you just went with squeezy. We <laughs> 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 were expecting that, buddy. <laughs> oh boy.
Cool. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That'll be a fun one. Peace out, Dave Winston. Oh, damn, he can already fix that. Peace out, anybody else who might be watching. It's a beast. Damn, dude. See you tomorrow.